us, it's about you and me We got the angles, we got sports and we got entertainment Putting BD on the map, we gonna make us famous, what? Hello Giants, I'm Jenny. I'm Tiara. And on this week's newscast, we'll be closing off the 2018-19 school year. We're showing you the transition to college and also the latest hits leading up to summer break. Here's Zach with the story. Hi, I'm Zachary Haynes, and today we're going to be talking about the newest albums that have come out this month. One of the hottest faces in hip-hop right now and a personal favorite of mine, Anderson Pack is back with another full-length album only five months after his 2018 project, Oxnard. Pack decides to shift gears from the hard funk hip-hop of Oxnard and instead makes a return to smooth R&B and soul that put him on the map. A surprise release from one of pop's longest running stars, this culmination of live performed songs from Coachella 2018 spans Beyonce's entire career, giving her classics a gorgeous facelift. This is definitely one for the history books, especially for Beyonce, being the first African American woman to headline Coachella. The long awaited fourth album from New York indie rock outfit Vampire Weekend, Father of the Bride does not disappoint, continuing their standard of exploring more sounds and genres yet impressively maintaining their core soft rock sound. Zachary. I kind of want to know what people think about Hispanics. Do you? Hi, my name is Victor Manuel Salinas Flores. I'm full born Mexican. My name is Carla and I'm Mexican. My name is Javier Posada. I'm Honduran. My name is Amanda Chacon. I'm Salvadorian. My name is Melanie Reynoso and I'm Mexican. My name is Aaron Vasquez. I'm Mexican. And three stereotypes that Hispanics get every day is that we're all Mexican. I'm either Dominican or Mexican or I like spicy food. And they assume everybody, like all Hispanics, know how soccer or Mexicans. And I don't know how to play soccer at all. What is my favorite soccer team? And did I cross the border? My parents don't know how to speak English. That I'm a Lego and I always celebrate Cinco de Mayo. Something I would say to those people that um, believe in those stereotypes is to ask first. Um, don't just assume that every Hispanic is Mexican. I do not like spicy food at all. I hate it. I've never celebrated Cinco de Mayo. I don't eat pupusas. I eat them occasionally. Not all Salvadorians eat them. Well, I mean, now it's pointless. I don't say much to them because that's just people talking, and I'm not going to let that affect me because it's just everybody that talks and talks. And really, I got my own story. Like, I got my own goals, my own thing, and I'm not going to let them affect me. Now, in response, I would say my favorite tacos are tacos de chorizo. My favorite soccer team is Chivista, or else I'd be disowned by my dad. And I did not come here legally. I came here by plane. Victoria Cuevas. Jordi Gutierrez. BD TV. just for things that I found beautiful. Oh, that's so nice. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful. Like, what do we find beautiful? Yeah. You. Wait, me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I think you're very pretty. Thank you. You're welcome. This shot is for things that I find beautiful. I think you're beautiful. Oh, that's nice. That you are very beautiful. I think you're beautiful. Thank you. Things that I found beautiful. Music, 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 music,
<laughs> this shot is for things that I find beautiful. Oh, thanks. This for things that I find beautiful. I think you're beautiful. I find beautiful. <laughs> Memorial Day is an emotional day to come across. Remembering all the fallen veterans that you've known, loved, or maybe even never met can be something hard to encounter. But on this day, we lift our spirits by hanging out with friends and family, having cookouts, or visiting your loved one's grave. My family uh, definitely reflects uh, about the service of uh, the military to the country simply because my father uh, served in World War II. Uh, my brother served during the Vietnam War and uh, I was a 20-year veteran of the Marine Corps. So it's a day that definitely has meaning uh, to our family. The veterans wall is up on the uh, second floor in S Hall. Uh, it is actually at the intersection of uh, H Hall and uh, S Hall and it honors veterans that were graduates of Ben Davis High School that lost their lives in the service of their country. The Crown Hill Cemetery is another place of remembrance. This historical place holds over 2,000 soldiers. Every year on Memorial Day, people from all over the city visit Section 9 and pay their respects. Here goes, BD TV. Good morning, Giants. I'm Madison Guymon here with your weekly weather report. For those of you who plan on attending the Indy 500 practices this weekend, today there will be a 30% chance of rain with a high of 77 and a low of 60. There will be a high of 83 and a low of 64 on Saturday. It's predicted to be fairly dry with a 20% chance of rain. On Sunday, there's a 40% chance of rain with a high of 81 and a low of 64. Make sure you stay dry this weekend, Giants. This upcoming week, we should expect some spring showers with Monday having a 20% chance of rain with a high of 76 and a low of 59. Tuesday has a 40% chance of rain with a high of 78 and a low of 62. Wednesday goes back down to 20% chance of rain and a high of 77 and a low of 61. Thursday is predicted to have a 40% chance of rain with a high of 77 and a low of 59. Race weekend starts off sunny with a 20% chance of rain on Friday and a high of 77 and a low of 58. Saturday is expected to have some thunderstorms with a 30% chance of rain with a high of 74 and a low of 57. To end the weekend, there's a 40% chance of rain on Sunday with a high of 74 and a low of 57. Have a good race weekend, Giants. Come out and support your Ben Davis Show Choir on Wednesday, May 22nd at 7 p.m. $5 for adults, three for students. It's senior night and senior farewell. It also is the last opportunity to see the competition show choir shows for 2018 through 19. The concert will last approximately 90 minutes. We also have a concert on Tuesday, May 21st. This is a free concert. It begins at 7 p.m. Hey Giants, are you in need for a summer job? Here are some different listings you may be interested in. Do you like working or being around kids? Well, camp counseling will be the perfect fit for you. You go to training, plan out different activities and games, and you will have a great time. Walmart is a good place to work because it's a good hands-on job and you interact with people. They are flexible and will work around your schedule. If you have good social skills, Walmart could be the place for you. Boys and Girls Club is a good place to work, but it definitely takes a few specific characteristics. You have to have patience and you have to be passionate about impacting children. Most of those kids come from troubled homes and they need a little extra patience and care to steer them in the right direction. There are many opportunities for getting a summer job. If any of these recommendations interest you, please go to indy.gov for camps or lifeguarding or go to the actual location for an application. Shronism BD TV. Some say high school are the best and most impactful years of your life in the education and the workforce. Stay tuned as we show you the closing weeks of high school. At Ben Davis High School are going to disappear one of these days. There's not going to be walls here. You're not going to have a bell telling you where to go and what to do. So by when you're when you're transitioning from your junior to senior year, you're getting to the end of that part of your uh, high school career. So there are some things you can do uh, during the summer to prepare yourself um, for your senior year. The summer, what I would do is I would spend some time researching various areas. Um, I would do some traveling. Um, if college is in your in uh, part of your future, I would uh, consider going on and connecting Khan Academy uh, with your PSAT and doing some practice to help yourself uh, maybe for the SAT test if you need to retake that at the start of your senior year. Don't fall behind. Start off strong in your classes. Um, 
and um, that will prepare you better and, and get the grades you want to help you get to the next step in life. So make sure, juniors, you mentally prepare yourself for your last year at BD. As for our 2019 senior class, here's Marshawn with how they are transitioning into the next step in life. Thank you, Vanessa. And now to the seniors who talk about having an important mentor in their life and how important it is to have a support system. My name is Aaron Alaman Moreno. I will be attending IU and majoring in biology. I'm Odell Asaiz. I'll be going to IU and I'll be majoring in nursing. I'm Jared Barnes. I'm going to the University of Southern Indiana. Go Eagles. I'm Dom Day and I'll be going to IU and I'll be majoring in computer science and cybersecurity. I'm Ashley Castile. I will be attending Ball State University to study elementary ed. Go Cardinals. I'm Jada Coleman. I'll be going to Marshall University and I'll be majoring in biology and pre-med. Patterson has really like pushed us definitely to better ourselves and he's been there through my personal life, academic life, and he's just helped me through a lot of things. I call him my school dad because I be telling him everything. It's helped me realize like I have a big impact on the community by giving back to them and it's like he pushes me a lot. Um, he's always on me and he gives me advice on stuff so it's like he's a good mentor to me. He's always there for me through any problems that I have or anytime I have an issue with anything he's always the person that I go to and he's also become like a school dad to me. He's there any time of day and I just really appreciate everything he does not only for us but for our community. He's influenced me in a, like a bigger way than nobody can like any other teacher has and exposed real life scenarios that I wouldn't even think that happens in the real world outside of high school. Mentoring is important not only because of the knowledge and skills students can learn from mentors, but also because mentoring provides professional socialization and personal support. Marshawn Porter, BD TV. What is Wayne Walks? During the month of May, seniors at Ben Davis High School and BDU had the opportunity to return to their elementary and middle schools one last time as Wayne Township students. Wearing their caps and gowns, we walked through the hallways to the cheers of younger students and former teachers taking a momentary break from class. What a great time it was for all of us as we strolled through memory lane. Giants, are you geared up ready for college? College is around the corner for our class of 2019. Up next, you'll get all the information you need to get prepared for college. Historically black colleges and universities were founded at a time in American society where African Americans were not allowed to attend um, predominantly white institutions or what we now call PWIs. Now, in today's society, we push our kids to go to IU's, Purdue's, um, Stanford's, Penn State's, um, but we forget about Howard's and Hampton's and Tuskegee's and Alabama A&M's and Alabama State's and Johnson C. Smith's um, institutions that are amazing. There's a different type of vibe and a different type of feel when you go to an HBCU. Um, having visited many, having several friends and family members who have also attended them, the stories and the history are robust. Um, so what I would say to today's generation is don't sleep on what you're not familiar with. Um, do your research. Um, schools like HBCUs um, are now schools for everybody, but the fabric that has been woven, the history is deep, is deeply rooted. And if you ask a person who has been to an HBCU why they went, they can go on forever about their experience. These institutions are important, um, not just to the African-American culture, but to society in general. Many colleges have safety measures in place to protect both its students and visitors to the campus. As there are many of us who are graduating and seeking a higher education, we talk to both current and future college students about how safe they feel on their campus. So IUPUI has the IU uh, Police Department who works on uh, all the IU campuses. Um, I like the amount of security Wabash has because police aren't overbearing. They aren't, they aren't breaking up parties because they know that we have Main, most of us make good decisions. You can call them at any time and they'll come to you to like walk you across campus at night, like if you're scared or anything like that. Even though colleges have these measures in place, there are still improvements that need to be made. Uh, so one thing that it could improve on, I think just like a lot more like assurance that it's safe. So they have some of those boxes with, with like emergency buttons that you push like sporadically throughout campus and it would be better if they had more of those. Scattered around some colleges, there are these emergency stations. If you are ever in need of emergency help, just go over to the call box and press the button. 
A light will come on when the call is first sent, and a second one will come on when the call has been received by emergency services. As you can see, there are many different safety measures that campuses and colleges go through to keep both their students and visitors safe. For BDTV, I am Maya Abramson. Back in the 1990s, when our parents were in college, it only costed them $2,117. Today, college only cost $9,716. Now here's the big question. Why did college prices go up? Which caused kids who are going to college today to pay a lot more? There are only two solutions before college, and that is get a job so you could save up a lot of money and apply for a lot of scholarships so you don't have to worry about that increasing college debt. Also, when you're in college, find a part-time job that can help pay off the growing debt. Alex Meinzinger, BDTV. I'm a current Ball State student. I was in the class of 2017 for BDTV. My biggest obstacle for me was taking the academic part seriously because I'm one of those people, you know, I always get wrapped up in stuff that's TV related, stuff that's student media related. Um, so for me, I guess, you know, my big thing would be to try to find that balance. Being a college graduate, um, are, is there any advice you would have for incoming freshmen? Go to class. Because <laughs> if you don't, then you barely graduate. <laughs> Creating a um, precedent to go to class, actually show up and go to class. At Ball State, they have this uh, thing called Super Party. So, of course, I'm into uh, student media, and they have all the different student media organizations laid out across our newsroom. So I kind of just got involved by you know, introducing myself, kind of talking about how I wanted to be an MMJ and kind of just getting involved and, you know, I brought the skills to Ball State that I learned here at BDTV. Some sort of uh, group or, or belonging, kind of like a club or a team of some sort because that will make things easier in the long run. Flirted with the urge of no effort and gross pressure. A for subsistence. Perch adversity by my trials and tribulations all overcome. Rolling the total bug, route various doubts and now myself to never run out of sight. The light trails my steps. They all carry the same way. Wave of the errors, keep pace, seek more. Frame the stress inscribed onto my face. Laugh at the dirty old scabs I healed. I'm my own guy. I've scaled my grievance. I've achieved feats that sums the plumb onto my palate and deemed features. I ain't no longer stagnant. Turn reality from my own entails and the spells. I live gracious in my own magic. Fast to the shade, playing the part that sets so many apart. I set a hand to myself. Never open a short end to those crawling along the trail. I build my own bones. I never fail. Thanks for tuning in as we help you end off your high school year. No matter where you go, make sure you make the best of it. And remember, Giants, if it's about you and me, it's, it's on BDTV. BD